Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I was going to make turkey dinner meatloaf. But I thought this was turkey, it turned out to be beef. Now you remember that two pound package of sausage I bought at the uh, grocery outlet? Well, it turned out to be more, f as much fat as meat. And so in order to make a good meatloaf, you want to add some lean meat in with it. So here we have two pounds of sausage meat, one pound of lean ground beef. We have three level tablespoons of instant potatoes, a cup and a half of diced onions, and in my blender here, I had five slices of bread and three quarters of a cup of multi-grain mix. And we have pepper flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, and we're going to use three eggs. We're not going to add salt because of this sausage meat. Before I start mixing, I'm going to spray these pans here with avocado oil and our three eggs. So... First things first, let's put some onion powder. I'm going to say about a teaspoon of onion powder. Another teaspoon, you do you, but another teaspoon of garlic powder. And some crushed red pepper flakes. Not too, too much. Just enough you get a little bit of heat. And the onions. Bread crumbs, we're just gonna throw it all in here. Five slices of multigrain bread and three quarters to a cup of multigrain mix and three eggs. Now I may get more than four of these pans, if so, bonus. But I'm shooting for four meals out of these three pounds of meat. Now remember, the sausage pretty much only counts as one pound because of the amount of fat in it. Whoops. Okay, let's just mix this all together. Let it talk to you. Make sure you get that. I guess I should have mixed the sausage and the beef first, but you know what? doesn't matter. We got this going on. We got extra bread and grains to soak up the fat in the sausage and lean meat to give it more body. And three eggs to hold it all together. All right, now... Let's just see here. Well, I could have gotten five of these little loaves, but we're just going to make sure they're big loaves. You want to fill that pan so it's nice and square for slicing. Yes! Alrighty! Our timer has gone off, and there is our four meals worth of meatloaf. Alrighty, let's take a little meatloaf out there. Lovely. Yummy. Alright, and I'm just sauteing up some zucchini and onions. And we're going to have whipped parsnips. Now you could fry these if you like. All you do would do is drain them, but I heated them up. And they're nice and soft. And I'm just putting in butter. Pinch of salt. Some black pepper. It's as easy as that. And you just whip them up. Oh! I love whipped parsnips. So let's get Daddy's whipped parsnips on there. And sauteed zucchini and onions. Oops, there goes an onion. Again, Howie's not in from the garage yet, but there's his supper, and I had the same, well, a little bit less. And it was delicious, right down to the whipped parsnip. So how was your supper? Good. That was supposed to be turkey turkey dinner meatloaf, but I accidentally opened uh, a tube of beef instead. So, it's it's beef sausage meatloaf. Awesome. Now vegetables and uh, parsnips. Yeah, 
Did, I asked you where you got them from. Yeah. <laughs> And I, you know, gave you an odd luck because I was so proud of canning them last year from the garden. That's last year, though. Yeah. Awesome. Very different, but very tasty. But it's, you know, it could be something we could do, in, be, you know, instead of potatoes now and again. Very vegetable-y. Well, eat your zucchini and shut up. Thanks, right. baby. Hey, nice haircut. Thank you. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half-acre homestead, Nuts making it stretch.